everyone here yeah, i am again with you to discuss class 10 history plus pick up board of education so for our today's discussion i have taken the topic indigo revolt indigo revolt 1859 to 1860 so before we discuss about indigo revolt let us understand what is the indigo revolt in a brief short form ma bhannu parda chai indigo revolt chai ke ho so now revolt of the indigo cultivators of bengal against the oppression of the european planters this means this indigo revolt was the revolt where the peasants took actively part to against the british government okay you see your revolt who jun chai ma chai mazduri kisan bhai chai ekdam actively part garega chai your revolt like success karam khojeko thiyo so the, now the indigo is a plant name okay so this plant was planted in the india especially in the bengal where this plant can grow very healthy so that the british government thought that indigo cultivation can be done in the west bengal because this indigo was highly demanded in the european countries so that therefore they planted the indigo in the uh, west bengal so that they can sell or they can export from india in a high rate to the european countries so therefore this indigo planters they planted in bengal but the peasants the mazduris okay kisans they did not want it this indigo plant to be planted in their land therefore this revolt took place now where this revolt broke out you say revolt say indigo revolt say kaha dikhi chai shuru bhayo ta bhanda kari chai place Chaukacha of Krishnanagar in Nadia district of West Bengal in 1859. You say Bengal ko Chaukacha bani Krishnanagar ko Nadia district. Amro West Bengal, West Bengal bani say suru bai ko thiyo. So now let us understand first. Indigo is a plant name. Okay, right? From where we can take out the color. So therefore. They, this uh, Britishers, they wanted to export this to European countries. Therefore, they planted in India. So now, the Indigo Rebellion may be regarded as a organized political movement. Now, this Indigo Revolt it was called as a organized political movement. You see, our Rajnitik door na pani mile ra. एउटा स्टेप वाइज सिस्टमेटिक राखिएको एउटा रिवोल्ट थियो नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉज अफ द इंडिगो रिवोल्ट यसको मुख्य कारण चाहिँ के थियो यो इंडिगो रिवोल्ट को चाहिँ किन चाहिँ मजदुरीहरु पिजन्स व्हाई दे फोर्ट विद द इन इंडिगो प्लांटर्स उनीहरुले चाहिँ किन मजदुरहरुले जोले पनि रोक्दै थियो तिनीहरुसँग चाहिँ किन चाहिँ उनीहरु विद्रोह भयो त व्हाई दे फोर्ट टु देम नाउ लेट अस सी द फ्यू कॉजेस फॉर द रिवोल्ट अफ दिस इंडिगो रिवोल्ट अफ 1859 टु 1860 नाउ फर्स्ट इज एक्सपोर्ट अफ द इंडिगो टु फॉरेन कंट्रीज ब्रॉट ह्यूज प्रॉफिट नाउ दिस इंडिगो प्लांट whichever was planted in this bengal this plant indigo was export to the other countries so it was exported to european countries now when they sell from, from india to european countries there was huge profit for the this whoever was doing the business of the indigo that is british so they were having lot of profit in it but whereas to the patients who were given their land 
whoever is helping to plant this indigo, they did not have even a single pie of profit. Those people who work there, those people who farm, who are doing import, who are doing some kind of bandy work, who are doing some kind of work, those people who are doing some kind of work, those people who are doing some kind of work, those people who are doing some kind of work, those people who are doing some kind of work, those people who are doing some kind of work, those people who are doing some kind of work, those people who are doing some kind of work, those people who are doing some kind of work, whatever protecting the uh, indigo so they did not have any profits the one who was having profit was the one who was exporting only the uh, the masters or, or only the owner they were having the profit so this was the uh, one of the cause this lead to the indigo revolt now another cause was converted the best food growing area area into indigo cultivation now, as we know that Bengal where the high rate of agriculture is done. Where the best production food was growing, like peti, you know, this was growing, that area was taken up by the indigo planters. So when they started to plant the indigo there, there was no now. They cannot, in the same field, in the same land, they cannot do the cultivation of the, they cannot do the agriculture. So this was the one of the region where the pigeons were lost their land for the agriculture. This also was the one of the biggest cause which led to the revolt, uh, indigo revolt of 1859 to 1860. Now the centers and the leaders where this revolt broke out and who are the leaders who lead this indigo revolt now let us see i already said to you this revolt first broke out at krishnanagar this uh, revolt indigo revolt was broke out in the krishnanagar now later on this revolt spread to other part of Bengal like Barasat, Malda, Paridapur and Jasur. These are the place where this the pigeon, pigeons took actively part to this revolt, Indigo revolt. Okay, now the leaders. Leaders were Digambara Biswas, Vishnu Chandra Biswas, Manish Chandra Chattapatya and Ram Ratan Malik. They were the main leaders who lead these pigeons to in this revolt of 1859 to 60. Okay. Now the government also dominated the pigeons. Okay, the cultivators who are cultivating the indigo. So they were forced to cultivate in their lands and in the agricultural land. And when they were against the British government to they were not in the favor of planting the indigo because it was not profitable for them and the, the government started to repress them Daman, repression means a Daman, okay they started to uh, put down the uh, pigeons, okay Mazduri, like Isan, they started to uh, control them they started to put a lot of charge on them so they the British government started to repress them. Okay, so now the British government came out with the proclamation of the protecting interests of the indigo cultivators. Now, even then, where the British government they repressed the peasants, continue, they raised their voice, they denied to plant the indigo in the land. So at last government found the solutions that government has to do something for the peasants okay indigo planters so they thought that they have to protect the planters in their land so that the british government uh, made some of the rules that which can give uh, facilities or the freedom to the indigo planters now 
ओवरऑल व्हाट इज द रोल अफ द मिशनरीज अब यसमा चाहिँ उनीहरूले अरुले चाहिँ के सघाए त भनेर भने जस्तै ना हरिशचन्द्र वान अफ द फेमस लिडर अफ द इन्डिगो प्लान्टर्स एन्ड इन्डिगो रिवर हरिशचन्द्र ही यूज टु राइट इन दिस हिन्दू पेट्रोइट इन दिस पेपर सो ना ही रिवियरली सीन दिस इन्डिगो प्लान्टर्स प्रॉब्लम एन्ड ही रोड अगेन्स्ट द ब्रिटिश गभर्नमेन्ट ही वाज इन द फेभर अफ द इन्डिगो दिस इन्डिगो प्लान्ट दिस कल्टिवेटर्स पिजन्स he wrote directly against the indigo plantation in the west bengal in the same way now there came a dinabandhu mitra one of the famous writer he wrote neel darpan against this violations how this planters how this mazduris okay hamro yo kisan bhanne chai kosari chai isbara dabao bhayeko cha unai le aphno zamin haru kosari diyeko cha उनीहरूको जमिनमा कल्टिभेसन नहुँदा पनि उनीहरूलाई के समस्या भएको छ अब वेन दे स्टार्टेड टु प्लान्ट द इन्डिगो दे डिड नट ह्याभ अ के ल्यान्ड वेयर दे क्यान डु द एग्रिकल्चर वेयर दे क्यान कल्टिभेट द भेजिटेबल्स दिस वर नट द फेसिलिटी दे वर दे ह्याड मोर ल्यान्ड सो दे वाज नो फेसिलिटी फर देम टु कल्टिभेट एक्स्ट्रा प्लान्ट ओन्ली द इन्डिगो वाज प्लान्टेड इन द्याट ल्यान्ड सो दिस वर द ऑल सीन and this was the problem which was written in this neel darpan so this is how the indigo revolt of 1839 to 16 took place and and this in later on in the champara in the bihar also the because of this indigo planters there was also revolt in 1800 and uh, sorry 1918 in champara so now We'll discuss this once for today. Thank you so much.